The most recent episode of The Mandalorian revealed that Jango Fett was indeed Mandalorian, having been taken in as a foundling. Boba Fett shows Din his chain code, which is written in the Mandalorian script, and thank you so much for the many people online that took the time to translate it. The text is broken up, but the planet Concord Dawn is mentioned along with a mentor whose name begins J-A-S-T-E. That's got to be a clue to the man who raised Jango as a Mandalorian in Star Wars Legends, Jaster Mareel, so today we're going to cover his story. Interestingly, Jaster Mareel was originally the name given for Boba Fett's true identity in the book Tales of the Bounty Hunters back in 1996. Attack of the Clones wiped all that away, so future Star Wars stories in the expanded universe did their best to pivot, and they made Jaster his own character. This story is coming from a comic called Django Fett Open Seasons, and keep in mind that none of this is technically canon now, but in the absence of any other background information, I certainly think it's worth knowing. Jaster Mareel was born on Concord Dawn, where he served as one of the planet's lawmen, a journeyman protector. He was exiled after he gunned down a corrupt superior officer, but he returned to his home during one of the Mandalorian Civil Wars, which Boba mentioned in Chapter 14. This war was fought between Death Watch, led by Tor Vizsla, and the True Mandalorians, led by Jaster. The True Mandalorians sought refuge on the farm of Jango's family, and Death Watch executed them for providing aid to their enemies, but Jango escaped and helped Jaster and his men seek their revenge. Orphaned and with nowhere else to go, he was taken in by the warriors. Jaster raised Jango as his own son, grooming him to one day replace him as the leader of the True Mandalorians. Thirty years before the Clone Wars began, Death Watch returned, still under the leadership of Tor Vizsla, who was presumed dead. He led the True Mandalorians into a trap and gunned Jaster down. Jango took leadership of the other warriors and got them all to safety. For years after his mentor's death, he also flew Mareel's old ship, which was renamed Jaster's Legacy. It was an amphibious interstellar assault transport which actually bears some resemblance to the Razor Crest. I wouldn't be surprised if that were intentional because a decent amount of Jaster's story has been repurposed for the Clone Wars, Star Wars Rebels, and more. The Vizsla Clan and Death Watch were both first created for open seasons. The Vizsla name and the Mandalorian Splinter Group were brought into the Clone Wars in the episode The Mandalore Plot. The planet Concord Dawn was seen in Star Wars Rebels, where we also met the Mandalorian Protectors led by Finn Rao. That name might be related to the Journeyman Protectors that Jaster Mareel was once part of. So even though his backstory was established in Legends content, a lot of it has been used to inspire canon content. Now that his name has been directly referenced, I don't see why we can't assume the broad strokes of Jango Fett's mentor are still true. So that's it for today. If you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe to the channel to keep up with all of our Mandalorian coverage, follow us on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and consider checking out our Patreon page where we're releasing audio commentaries for all these new episodes. As always, Thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.